All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Terminator um, T-800 police station assault figure. And here it is in packaging. And on the side here, welcome to pause it and read it. And here's the back. You're welcome to pause it and read that as well. And here's the figure. It comes with an alternate head. And the other figures that are available in this wave. Uh, saw the Tech Noir. Uh, this one, the Battle Damage. Uh, didn't pick it up, uh, and uh, I have no plans on picking this one up. Uh, already reviewed that one, the regular Tech Noir, and also reviewed the Endoskeleton as well. So let's get this guy out of packaging. Alright, and here's Arnold outside of packaging. He's got some weird shades on. They are extremely huge. I guess uh, back in the 80s, they like to wear these huge sunglasses. And a leather jacket. And some gray pants. Brown pants. Well, yeah. More of a tan color pants. And then uh, boots. And he comes with ultimate head, just right there. And then uh, two weapons, a shotgun, and a somewhat of a uh, um, AK type thingy. I'm not even sure what this uh, weapon is called. Just take another look at the alternate head first it looks really really cool all right and uh, let's take a closer look at the actual head that it comes with glasses are not removable and uh, it does have uh, Arnold's likeness back in the 80s I guess I look at the leather jacket. There are holes in this leather jacket. One no display on the shoulder and a couple on the back. Everything's nicely painted. Even the boots. And uh, let's go over articulation. Uh, head is on a ball joint, well, base of the neck is on a ball joint. Shoulders a ball hinge. Elbows a ball hinge. Wrists are ball jointed. Waist, there's a swivel. And uh, top of the boots, there's a swivel as well. And that's it. No knee articulation or hips articulation. All right, look at Arno uh, doing the John Woo style. He's got a shotgun right here and the machine gun right there. Definitely a cool figure. Mm. Everything's nicely painted. And uh, here's another look at the battle damage uh, head. Does look a lot like Arno. And as uh, you can see, they expose uh, endoskeleton, the skull underneath. Pretty cool. All right, and here's an even closer look. Whoa. Keep him steady for a second. Okay. That endo skeleton eye it's great and the blood looks good as well and uh, I bought this one at uh, Toys R Us for 15 bucks 
Let's take a look at one. Uh, look at the leather jacket once more. A couple of bullet holes. Of course, a look at the weapons. Here's the shotgun. And here's that other one. Rotate it. Let me get some light on it. One more look at the other head. I definitely like the other head better than this one. Because it's got an exposed eye. Alright, let's do a size comparison. And uh, here you go. Here's the previous uh, Arno by NECA as well. I like how they give them uh, more weapons. Well, not more, but uh, two weapons, I guess. Because I uh, like the previous one. It's also holding two weapons, and this one as well. Looks like they reused the same uh, lower part. Well, most likely they reuse the whole thing. Well, the body is the same. And the, the lower half the same as well. So I guess all they change was the leather jacket and the arms and the heads. And here's Arno standing next to a brute. Oh, close to the same height. Let's see how tall this guy really is. Let's see, roughly he is about six and a half inches tall. Or no. Roughly, yep. And uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching.